The Life and Sad Ending of Lisa Robin Kelly Lisa Robin Kelly was born on March 5, 1970, in Southern Connecticut, USA. She was the daughter of Thomas Carl Kelly and Linda Diane Kelly. Kelly's child was a happy one. She was really very close to her parents. Kelly then moved to Sylvania, Ohio, much before she started attending her high school. She was chosen as cheerleader for the baseball team of her school. Right after Kelly finished her schooling, she decided to pursue acting. She then moved to California to learn acting and enrolled herself in an acting school. She used to travel back and forth from her hometown every Christmas to spend the holidays with her family. She graduated from the Goodman School of Drama at DePaul University with a major in acting in 1992. Kelly started working as an actress much before she completed her acting course. She was offered a role in one episode of the then upcoming television show. Kelly made her acting debut in 1986 with a minor role in an episode of the Daily Soap titled Married with Children. After her stint with the series, she starred appearing in the cameo roles in many popular television shows such as Murphy Brown, The X-Files, Sisters, and Silk Stockings. Kelly finally earned her big breakthrough in the popular American sitcom That 70s Show when she played the role of Laura Foreman. And with that came the celebrity status that she was looking for. Her portrayal of a promiscuous elder sister of Eric Foreman gave her then the much-awaited success. Her fair faucet hairstyle started a fashion trend among young girls at the time. The series broadcast its first episode on August 23, 1998, and ran for the next eight years. Kelly became a star overnight. She even secured the sixth position on Maxim's TV's Best Nymphos list. Kelly was enjoying her brand new success and publicity when she was offered a role in the film Jawbreaker, released in 1999. That was her only high-profile movie in her acting career. Kelly became a victim of drug addiction during the filming of the third season of That 70s Show, and because of this, she was fired. She made a comeback to the show, but was offered a minor appearance in the 13th episode of the sixth season. Later, she was finalized for the full season. After she had filmed the first few episodes, Kelly was replaced by Christian Moore. The producers of the show labeled this as part of a creative decision, whereas in reality, it was Kelly's falling public image that caused the termination of her contract. Kelly was last seen on screen in her 2005 film, The Food Chain, A Hollywood Scary Tale. Her career started suffering as she struggled with her own personal issues. Kelly was legally charged for drunken driving in August 2010 in North Carolina. This is when her image started to deteriorate. Kelly was no more a stranger to handcuffs then. She once again was arrested along with her husband, for public obscenity. In her personal life, she had a tumultuous relationship with her boyfriend, John Micus, and the relationship eventually ended on a bitter note. Kelly later married Robert Joseph Gilliam in 2012. In June 2013, she filed for a divorce from her husband of eight months, but they were never divorced before her death. All this was happening while she was consuming drugs and was eventually admitted to a rehab center in California. Sadly, Kelly died on August 15, 2013, at age 43, while she was asleep in her rehab enclosure. Her death was due to an accidental, unspecified oral multiple drug intoxication. She was buried at Forest Lawn Cemetery, Weddington, Union County, North Carolina.